is Broadcast Beat Magazine with Janet West. Hi, I'm Janet West with Broadcast Beat Magazine and we're on the second day of IBC 2015. I'm on the Thompson Video Network stand and I'm delighted to be with Stéphane Cloirac, who is Director of Product Management. Now, we chatted, didn't we, uh, uh, Stéphane, at NAB. What's changed between NAB and IBC? Well, interestingly enough, when we were at NAB, we talked about HGVC applications, and especially we showcased uh, HGVC for Ultra HD broadcasting with the uh, Vibe 4K introduction we did at NAB. And since then, what we have seen is a wider adoption of the HGVC standard in many other applications. So that was an interesting move, and we are, in fact, uh, highlighting this change at IBC by showcasing two new type of applications for HEVC. Can you tell me about those? Sure. One of these is for mobile applications. It's called 4G LTE Broadcast, and in fact, it can also be known as EMBMS Broadcasting. Mm -hmm. The idea with that is to use OTT type of standard, but sending the video in multicast mode over a, a, a 4G cell and then saving bandwidth because as it is multicast, everybody will receive the same stream at the same time and not receiving each one a unique copy like in unicast mode, a classical OTT delivery. So the idea with that is to be able to cover very big venues where you have a high number of viewers that will all want to look at the same picture at the same time. Sports events in the United States in big stadium are a classical example of this. Okay. And for this delivery, as the bandwidth is very scarce on 4G networks, we are using HEVC encoding to squeeze even more on the video side. Okay. So dual benefit multicast approach plus HEVC encoding and that's a winning combination for 4G LTE broadcast. Okay. On other stands you see HEVC, what makes Thompson Video Networks different in your approach to dealing with that? Well, that's particularly uh, uh, obvious with the second application that we are showcasing on the booth, which is uh, for pure uh, classical satellite delivery. In mm -hmm. fact, we have just released a new solution, a new evolution of the uh, HEVC solution that is capable to, to cope with interlaced 1080i, 50, 60 frames per second content and in a StatMux environment. So I would say everything that we have done historically for DTH operators in the world in MPEG-2 and later on with H.264, we are now capable to do that also in HEVC. And by the way, we have just deployed a brand new system in Asia with 120 HD channels using this approach 1080i encoding HEVC in StatMux. And that's a, that's a world first. Okay, congratulations for Thank that. You. So when your customers come to you, what is the main problem that they're hoping that Thomson Video Networks are going to solve? Taking again this example for the uh, DTH broadcasting, the uh, cost of the bandwidth of a satellite is very expensive. Yeah. That's huge. And with HEVC, the promise is, especially for HD content, to be able to divide by two the bandwidth compared to H.264, which means twice the number of channels within the same transporter bandwidth. And the, for a greenfield DTH operator, it can make the difference. Simply by dividing by two, is a satellite rental cost. Excellent, so savings all around then. Im immediate return on investment. Okay, brilliant. So a lot of evolution in just a few months since April. So uh, we look forward to speaking to you again at NAB next year. That would be thank my pleasure. Thank, thank you. you very much. And I'm Janet West with Broadcast Beat Magazine.